Genetic mapping. Genetic mapping is a technique used to study the relative position and sequence of genes on a chromosome. The proportions of recombinants of spring resulting from a dihybrid test cross is used to calculate cross over value. Cross over value is a measure of linkage, and if linkage occurs, the distance between genes can be determined. COV or cross over value is a mean used to map or to locate relative position of genes on the same chromosome. If the genes are situated further apart from each other, the possibility of crossing over to occur is high. Both parental and recombinant type will be produced. Therefore, the crossing over frequency is directly proportional to the distance between the two genes. We can use this equation. COV or cross over value equal to total recombinant of spring divided by total number of offspring times 100. Now, we will learn how to calculate the genetic distance between genes using the given recombination data. For example, the offspring from a taste cross done on Drosophila species with grey body and normal wings to produce the following offspring normal grey body normal wings 965 black body vestigial wings 944 grey body vestigial wings 220 and black body normal wings 190 to calculate the cross over value, we will find out the recombinant of spring. The recombinant of spring consists of the two phenotypes with the smaller number. For example, in this question, 220 and 190 is the offspring for the recombinant phenotype. So, to calculate the cross over value, total recombinant offspring 220 plus 190, that will give us 410, divide by total number of offspring, that is 2319 times 100, that will give us 17.6. 8%. For the distance, we convert percentage into map units or centimorgan. The distance between the gene for body color and gene for wing size is 17.68 map units or 17.68 centimorgans. So another example. Black colored body and vestigial wing in Drosophila is controlled by two recessive alleles B and V respectively. Dominance allele, dominant B and V, produce wild type fly, gray colored body, normal wing. A homozygous wild type is crossed to produce all wild type and is test cross. The F2 generations are as follow. Gray normal 1984, black vestigial 1999, black normal 377, and gray vestigial 388. A. Draw a genetic diagram to show the result in F1 and F2 generation. B. Calculate the distance between genes controlling the body color and the type of wing. This will be the genetic diagram. We use slanting method to indicate that the genes B and V are located on the same chromosome that will produce F1 generations with all heterozygous genotype that shows dominant phenotype. The taste cross of the F1 generations will produce F2 generation. The genes B and V dominance and B and V recessive inherited together to form the gamete with parental phenotype and there will be a crossing over between the B and V genes to produce recombinant gametes. The fusion of this gamete with the gamete from the homozygous recessive of the test cross will produce the offspring with two parental phenotype represented by large number of offspring and two recombinant phenotype consists of small number of offspring. 
Question B, to calculate the distance between genes controlling the body color and the type of wing, we will use the cross over value equation. Cross over value equal to total recombinance of spring divided by total number of offspring times 100. The recombinance of spring consists of two phenotypes with smaller number of offspring. From the data given, the cross of a value equal to 377 plus 388 divided by total number of offspring. This will give us 765 divided by 4748 times 100 equal to 16.11%. For the distance, we convert the percentage into map unit or centimorgan. So, the distance between the gene for body color and genes for the type of wings is 16.11 map units or 16.11 centimorgans. Genetic mapping also can be used to identify the position or order of genes along a chromosome based on recombination data. For example, the genes P, Q, R, and S are linked. Map the chromosome. To map the chromosome, we can start with the highest COV value or we can rearrange the data from the highest COV to the lowest COV. So let's map the chromosome. First, let's start with the highest COV, R and Q, 40 map units. Second, P and Q, 35 map units. It means P in between of R and Q. Next step is R and S, 30 map units. So S in between of R and Q. Step number four, Q and S, 10% or 10 map unit. So, S is located before Q. The next step is P and R, 5% or 5 map unit. So, P is situated next after R. To conclude, the position and order for the genes P, Q, R, and S in the chromosome is R, P, S, and Q. That's all for now. See you again in the next video. Thank you.